Hello, my name is Samuel Jeffords. I am a contemporary Christian minister. Today I'm speaking to you from the state of Virginia at Lynchburg, Lynchburg, right here at Liberty University. Anyway, um, I am a naturalized citizen of the United States, but I grew up in West Africa, actually. I was born in Kumasi, Ghana. My mom is a Ghanaian. My dad is a Nigerian from the eastern part of Nigeria in most states. So I grew up under my dad, however, uh, who was a Christian minister, and he brought us up really strictly under Christian principles and biblical studies and Bible memorization and all that. Anyway, so, but um, that church wasn't exciting, I must confess to me, growing up because of all the structures, you know, the disciplines in it. But um, ultimately, as I got in tune with everything, I came to realize that I needed Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. And that's uh, how I got born again, way back in the late 80s. And uh, ultimately, when I was uh, an undergraduate at the University of Jos in northern Nigeria, I was studying political science. I was around the age of uh, 17, 18. I was born again uh, then, and I received my calling into Christian ministry, uh, having been previously, of course, ba baptized in water when I believed in Christ under my dad and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And then, um, but when I got my calling, I moved from the University of Political S S Science Studies into seminary in the eastern part of Nigeria at the Assemblies of God Divinity School of Nigeria. That's where I studied uh, pastoral theology for three years, graduated, uh, at the same time, I was pastoring uh, churches, helping to minister in crusades as an evangelist and as a missionary in the Middle Belt of Nigeria. I ultimately finished my studies, got involved in full-time ministry until I was transferred back to Ghana. I worked under the Mid-Ghana District of uh, Assemblies of God in Kumasi. Uh, but um, because of demand for my ministry, I'm more among the upcoming contemporary ministries, I had to resign from Assemblies of God, and that's how I became more and more involved in non-denominational ministries. And that's what actually brought me to the U.S. Uh, first time in 2003, and then uh, ultimately in 2005, and I haven't left since then. I've uh, been in the U.S. since then. I've uh, gone back to school to do my bachelor's in legal studies, uh, went to law school, I came back to do my master's in divinity here at Liberty, and now I'm working on my PhD in public policy and foreign policy. All this so I can serve the Lord better in ministry. Thank you.